Aricha University, which is located in the district of Kakinada and which is just about half an hour drive from the airport in Rajamahendravaram. My name is Srinivas. I am the Vice Chancellor of Aricha University. As you must have heard, Aricha University is a new generation university where you see the technology in action whenever you visit either the campus or the labs. All our teachings happens through digital means and all the course content lectures are placed in uh, stored in digitally so that the students could have access to the lessons as well as the lectures by the faculty anytime they want. Additionally, there is also a significant amount of research that is being carried out at Aricha University where faculty are engaged in ad developing advanced technologies in various areas that are related not only to computer science but also traditional engineering subjects like electronics engineering, electrical engineering, mechanical, civil, mining and petroleum as well as agriculture engineering. All these engineering subjects are as much important as the computer science is in the current uh, scenario. While people talk about computer science and AI, ML and deep learning, uh, which obviously is a, a big thing, a uh, high-tech thing that is happening across the world, but you also have traditional subjects like what I mentioned just now, wherein AI is coming in a big way. For example, if you take mechanical engineering, uh, we have a very well-developed robotics and uh, the drone lab where we not only build robots and the drones, but AI algorithms are actually implemented, let us say for navigation, uh, autonomous flying, or even the autonomous movement by the robots. So mechanical engineering is one area where you can actually see AI in action. And even if you take the vehicles, our students and faculty have developed autonomous vehicles which run the AI algorithms on the embedded controllers that form the electronic heart of the autonomous vehicle. Similarly, while people don't talk much about, let us say, mining engineering, which is not offered uh, in many universities across the country, Aricha University is very unique in offering the programs, bachelor's programs in mining engineering as well as the petroleum technologies. For example, if you take mining where people traditionally think about underground mines and then extraction of ores and things like that, but the more recent development is people talk about what is called digital mining. So the moment you say digital, it means that there are digital technologies getting employed and also you have the artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms being run in some of those technologies that are deployed in mines. So therefore, mining is not simply mining anymore, but it has a strong digital and AI component as well. Similarly, you take any other subject like electrical engineering, for example. Now you have motors, generators, which are very, very essential for our electric grid to run. And if you take electric vehicles, again, you have electric motors. So there is a large variety of electric motors that, that can be designed to run your electric vehicle in an efficient fashion. But then these subjects cannot be learned unless you are an electrical engineer. So you have a variety of motors that contribute to uh, the efficiency, learning to design those motors and also using AI in the process um, will, will help you to become a very solid electrical engineer of the 21st century. So similarly, you have renewable energy. Now we all talk about renewable energy and we all know the solar power and we also know about the wind power. Now, if you take solar, so you see the solar panels being um, deployed at many, many places where the solar power is being generated. Now, our Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi, has a vision that by 2030, at least 500 gigawatts of 
power should come from renewable energy and a significant part of this renewable energy comes from the solar power now if you look at let us say household solar panels typically they are connected to the grids and the grid itself runs on ac while the solar panels generate dc power uh, connecting them to ac power is not uh, directly advisable therefore you need to design electronics like inverters and converters that will help you to interface your solar power to the grid when you don't use your solar power you actually contribute to the grid you know making sure that this country has enough of uh, power that is generated either by ac or dc so designing those such converters and inverters is again not an easy thing and again you will learn how to do them uh, if you become an electrical engineer again there is a significant uh, role played by AI that will help you to design those motors or uh, any other related equipment like inverters converters efficiently so so we spoke about mechanical engineering we spoke about electrical engineering similarly in electronics and communication engineering where you talk about let's say communications where you talk about 5g 6g kind of thing so india still has 4g but a lot of work is going on in 5g and 6g as well so you will learn those technologies provided you become an ECA engineer and additionally you have the hardware design so these days when you talk about hardware design essentially it you are talking about the chip design integrated circuit design now increasingly integrated circuit design is also getting automated and AI is coming in a big way in designing the circuits very efficiently even ECE subject it doesn't escape AI, the, the various branches of engineering that I mentioned just now cannot exist anymore without the significant participation of AI in them. Similarly, even in civil engineering, where you talk about transportation engineering, structural engineering, water resource management, so all these areas need again AI inputs so that the efficiency of design can significantly improve. So what I'm trying to tell you is that while everybody prefers computer science, and which is understandable because of the cutting edge technologies that you learn as well as the job opportunities the conventional engineering subjects like what i mentioned ece or electrical engineering or mechanical or civil or mining or petroleum will also be benefited by the artificial intelligence the curriculum at aricha university has been designed in such a way that while you learn your discipline courses whichever engineering you are in such as electrical mechanical ECE you will also have an opportunity to learn certain elective subjects and depending on your interest you can those electives can be from the computer science department that means even if you are a non CS engineer you will still get an opportunity to do courses in AI domain such as machine learning um, deep learning even the courses that are required uh, to learn such as algorithm data structure so all these courses can also be a part of the curriculum for a uh, non cs engineer the way our curriculum has been evolving is that we are trying to integrate traditional subjects with more cutting edge subjects from computer science so that we will develop a next generation engineer uh, whichever branch he or she may be coming from so with that i wish you all the very best and i look forward to seeing you at aricha university campus goodbye to you